Welcome to PyBytes Code Challenges. In this video, I will show you how to code a byte end to end. First, you go to codechallenge.es. Then you go to bytes of pi. And let's do a simple one, a sum of n numbers. For every byte, we have a description and a couple of tests to see if the answer is correct. So in this case, we test if the sum of numbers is 5050, the same if you give it numbers of none. If you give it a range, would it then be 55, etc. Then here you have the editor where you can start coding. And once you think you have the valid solution, you can click save and verify. So let's try that. This is probably not enough, but just to show it in action. Right, this was indeed not enough. So you can click on show the PyTest output and it says that the sum of numbers without argument is not 50-50. And that's because we have to pass a default of sum of numbers, a range of 1 to 100, if no argument is provided. So let's do that next. Note that the solution is not available till two days into the challenge, and that's to make sure that you really give it a try. Oh, that's still not good. What happened? Okay, I see. Right. Range is exclusive. It's inclusive for the start, exclusive for the end, so I have to actually give it 101. So this will effectively be a range from 1 to 100. And that worked. The pie test ran successfully and I got my two points for this byte. And it is marked complete. When I go back to the dashboard, I can see the byte coins I've earned. Two. And an applause. If I would have cheated and clicked the solution button, I would have a thinking face here and I would only have earned one byte coin. Once you submit it, the tests are still there. And we also have a solutions tab with our possible solution. And if we have additional reference material, we have an info icon you can click and you get a pop-up with additional links. So in this case, one key thing was to use the sum built-in and to use none to check if arguments were provided. So not just saying if not numbers, but explicitly say if numbers is none. That's the most Pythonic way to do it. You can try the byte again, and it will set the byte to incomplete, but the scoring will only be done on the first attempt. Once you're done with the byte, you can also leave feedback. So here you have, how did your experience this byte? And you can give a rating how difficult this was. So this was pretty easy for me. One, or let's say two, it's, well, maybe three. It still has the non check, which is might not be too easy. And you can uh, give us feedback, hey, could you explain a bit more in a video? And yeah, I'm saying that as a test, but it's actually true that we're working on videos explaining the byte solutions. So I can submit that feedback and we are continuously improving the bytes. Right, we have a growing collection of bytes, which we split into beginner, intermediate and advanced. I hope you will enjoy them and let us know how you progress. Go to codechallenge.es, now it's better than ever. Keep calm and code in Python.